So let's talk a bit about the movie called Bone Daddy. It stars Rutger Hauer as a forensics man turned author who has a bestseller that recently comes out and it inspires a serial killer to start kidnapping victims and leaving bones. Now, this movie is from 1998, so this is a bit ahead of the Saw movies and the serial thriller movies that are pretty much a staple now. So, this movie isn't as well known. I got it on a DVD compilation of horror movies. And it does have some graphic parts dealing with the murders and whatnot. So, like I said, this is a serial thriller type of movie. You do have some horror undertones, obviously. But it's really not a slasher type of movie. It's more suspense, mystery, a little bit of a thriller element thrown in there. And I want to say it's about 90 minutes long. It's not a very long movie. All killer, no filler. Uh, no pun intended. I like this movie because it's not as well known. And like I said, it came before a lot of these type of Saw movies and the eventual knockoffs uh, became popular. I enjoyed this movie for what it was. I like the plot, I like Rutger Hauer, and I'm always pretty much in the mood for a serial thriller type movie. So, it's interesting that you have this guy who was in a forensics examiner who changed gears, he became an author, and his book basically takes on a life of its own, and it starts to... Unfortunately, become part of the fabric of real life and a serial killer starts to kidnap victims and dispatch them using the book as sort of a instruction manual. So we have Rucker Hauer's character trying to find out who the identity of this killer is what type of victims he wants to steal and kidnap and butcher, and why exactly is he taking his book and using it as a basis to kill people. So, Bone Daddy, it's streaming on Plex. It's 90 minutes long. It's from 1998. Uh, you know, give it a watch. Let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, I'm a fan of it. It does have sort of a TV movie type of feel to it, uh, if you're a fan of those type of movies. But I definitely enjoyed it for what it was. Serial thriller. Uh, obviously, you do get plenty of skeletons and bones in this movie. And unfortunately, people being hacked to death. So give this one a watch. Let me know what you guys think of this movie. Uh, it's not as well known as I've said, but I feel like it deserves a little bit of recognition for the kind of over-the-top plotline. And like I said, it did come before a lot of these type of movies before they became super popular. So let me know what you guys think, and I'm going to wrap this up, and I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Bye.